Hey moms, good morning. And uh, as you can see, I'm all set to share my new activity with you. And it's nothing but a DIY simple painting session for amazing evenings. And yesterday it was like raining here and uh, we couldn't go out and play. So what we did instantly was this. And I have kept it <laughs> intact to just record a video and share it with all the moms. Okay, so what I did, I have picked up a lot of different things for the painting. Uh, the major thing is, of course, the ELC, uh, the paints. I think the quality of the paints is very, very nice. I really like it. It's a ready mixed paint and the colors come out really well on the paper. And then I had taken a plate and I poured all the colors. Of course, I took a bigger plate for Vivan and to do mixing and to use the colors. And uh, then I had taken different different objects to do it. So as you can see, there's one brush. There's an ice cream stick here. There's a ball. We have an elephant. We have uh, a thicker brush, an ice cream stick, uh, a pom-pom, a spiky pom-pom actually. Then we have a cookie cutter here, which is the shape of a horse. Then we have a flat brush. Then I have taped up uh, these um, cotton buds to give a little scraping effect. And then we have the turtle from the Lego. And then yes, we have some Lego pieces. We have a seahorse from, uh, again, our uh, Play-Doh. We have a very thin bristle brush. <laughs> I have a spatula from the kitchen. We have a masher and there is a sieve also. So these were the objects and it was very, very random and DIY. Uh, I think that's the whole fun of doing an activity. Like whatever you have at home, just take it out, put it together and just present it to your kid. Uh, Vivan is three and a half year old, so he doesn't get overwhelmed now by seeing so many objects. But if you think you think when you have to introduce to your kid, you can uh, like hide some things and then introduce like two things at a time. So if you're doing brush, so you can introduce two brushes at one time or maybe two Lego pieces at one time. And once he's done that, then you can get another two pieces. So what I did, I had kept all of them in one big plate for him to choose. And then we did one by one. Okay, so the basic idea of doing it was to uh, see what can we create in different strokes. So when we had used the ice cream stick, we dipped the color and that's how the strokes were made. To make it easy or to make it like more interesting, you can actually take the color, dip it and you can paint the whole thing. And then you can ask your child to just pick up and then do the stamping here and then the painting is done. Or to make it more fun, he can just dip it like this and he can make the strokes. As you can see, the strokes are coming like very nice. And then Vivan did like this. So he, he wanted he wanted to do it like this. So that's how he did it. Okay, so that's one. Uh, this was too much fun for Vivan because he thought, wow, we are using the ball also. So he dipped the color and he was rotating the ball just like this. If you have different kinds of ball, you can use a different ball with different colors and it will create a pattern. Uh, another thing, once these cards are like ready, once they have done it, so you cut it in a small paper and you, I mean, take, take a small sheet of paper to do them and then you can uh, use it as beautiful cards for Diwali or for Christmas and you can just write at the back of this paper once it's ready you can laminate them or you can then collage them together and make a big uh, frame and put it in his room or in your room uh, that's my funda actually that's why i try and keep whatever uh, we do whatever activities we do i try and keep them for the namesake and uh, i i i would uh, that's my dream to like get everything into one big frame and get it framed for Vivan. Okay, so going forward, uh, I think I love this idea. So if you have uh, the cotton buds with you, you have to just use a clear tape, tape it up. And then with the simple color, you dip it and then you can scrape. You can scrape. See, it's, it's super easy to scrape. So I took like um, two colors. So on one side you have pink, on the other side you can see there is a yellow or there is green you can use another colors you can mix and match colors and you can do scraping you don't need actually scrapers you can just use the cotton buds as scraping thing okay so here okay for us the brush strokes are very important so i took this brush particularly because it's very flat so when vivan was using it i wanted him to hold the brush and just make one stroke so you can see it's a very thick stroke from this flat brush it's a flat stroke and it's pretty wide because of the brush size 
so because we are learning painting so it's just good to tell them the basic small things and they uh, the next time when we'll be doing painting he would know that which brush he wants to use okay so going forward we have this little elephant here we were trying to create the elephant footsteps but I think it is just looking more like a dot and not like footsteps or you can see so we did like different colors on the feet and then we were doing stamping here okay uh, again comes our rounded brush and you can see there is a difference between this stroke and this stroke this is very flat and the width is more and this is very rounded and you can see that's the difference between the two um, brushes so this is what Vivan uh, liked it and uh, if you don't want to do that with your kids right now, I think just then let them explore and let them just make different strokes so that sooner or later then you can like do it with them and uh, you can share it or you can just tell them rather than them knowing it purposely that yes, this is one, this is, there are two different kinds of strokes. You can just let them do it uh, the way they want. Okay, this is an ice cream stick and yes, we painted the ice cream stick and then we did the stamping with this. We just, we were holding it like this and we did the stamping right here. So you can use different colors. Mixing colors is like what kids usually, they usually love it. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we have the spiky pom-pom here and as you can see, it has come out really nicely here. You can see the spike strokes which, have, which are here. Uh, we have just taken, uh, we have just taken this, dipped it in the color and just did like this. Yup. Okay, so moving forward, I have this little seahorse. Uh, this was my favorite. I think the way it has come out is like really, really beautiful. Uh, the color was not done intentionally. <laughs> I think we were already mixing so many colors and that's why now the color is coming like this. Uh, we were using the Play-Doh cutter and uh, we have put the color here and then it was very simple to Turn it around and stamp. Ta-da! It's done. Okay, so another uh, brush stroke here, and it's, which is a very, very thin brush too. And now, to realize it and to do it, I told Vivan to just use it simple. And there was a vast difference. And actually, he could make out the difference between this one and the wide one, and then this one and this one. That yes, Mama, that brush is very round. And this is very thin. That's why my stroke is very, very thin. He did not like this one at all. He thought it, it takes too much time <laughs> to use this brush. And to color with this, it's very, very difficult. Okay, this has been my favorite. I don't know why, but uh, every time we use Lego uh, for painting, it's so much fun. Okay, so we did the color with the Lego. And then we, we were just turning it around. We did the same with this. And the way it comes out is beautiful. It's just beautiful. See? If you turn it around or if you just want to do stamping, you can do that. But it just creates different, different uh, textures and uh, different shapes. Okay, so here it comes a little green turtle. Okay, so green turtle, we have painted the green turtle feet. And then we were making the marks, the footprints of the green turtle. And they look beautiful. Yes, I, I think this, this is one of the best things which we, we did yesterday and uh, I think it has come out really well. So you can use whichever toys you have. You can use a lot of birds, flowers if you have, and uh, I think it, it, it's really great to use all these things. Okay, so moving forward, uh, that, that's our spatula. So we have colored here, and then we did the stamping like this. Um, Okay, yes, I think it's it's pretty nice. Vivan was very excited with this one rather than that one because of the holes. So we had dipped the color as you can see, we, you can't figure out which color is this because this was in the end and we had used already so many colors. So, but the holes have come out really nice. So he, he was very happy to see this. Okay, the last one is with the sewer. So what we did, we, we were just dipped in the green color and then we were just patting it. Just patting it everywhere and I think you have to pat it because if you just put it like this it's just the dollop of color which will come on the paper it won't look very nice you if you will pat it then I think it look very very nice as you can see the little little holes which you can see it's because once we started patting it on the paper you dab it and then it's much more beautiful that's it guys I think it was a very lovely uh, painting session for us hope it works out for you as well uh, try and do it the way your kids like it. This is how Vivan likes it. So I did it like this. Do share your feedback. Thanks for watching. Bye.